Well, they say they first bid back in January of 2018, and that really is where the negative surprise comes in, because really there was no indication over the past couple of years from Oxy that there would be a potential step-out deal of this kind. Uh, they could have, you know, given us a warning through their presentations that maybe there would be a big deal. And I think, you know, it might not have been a whole lot more negative for Oxy stock than the way the stock has performed anyway, which hasn't been great at all over the past year or two. Uh, so it's been a negative surprise that they're going hostile. It's also very unusual. In fact, we haven't seen anything like this for decades where you have an oil company going hostile for another oil company at this scale. So that's another massive risk that a somewhat untested management under CEO Vicky Holub is, is taking here. Will the shareholders support it? Well, now she's out on the road finally marketing the deal publicly. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But according to her, these are the first shareholder meetings that she's had um, because previously she couldn't tell them what she was thinking of doing. And our view is that, you know, basically the shareholder reaction is negative here. You know, uh, Vicky's interview this morning with David Faber, she seemed to say that this was the perfect asset for Occidental, that Occidental was the perfect parent because it knew how to get the most out of the Permian Basin, out of the shale resources uh, that Anadarko has. Would you agree with that? This almost seems to indicate a level of desperation on the part of Occidental to go after this in a hostile fashion after so many years of thinking about it and insisting that this is the one asset that we absolutely need. Well, I think they can coherently make a good argument for Permian, but of course, as you know, there's plenty of Permian pure plays and where they don't see the value of the deal as much. I mean, this morning, as you referenced, she talked about 75% of the deal being in the Permian, which uh, really isn't our number. Our number of NAV for Anadarko is $72 a share, but we don't have anything like that much as assigned to the Permian. Uh, the, the issue here is the other stuff that they get with it and the fact that it's really not consistent with previously stated strategy.